Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. So a few weeks ago, I attended the Trump rally here in my town. Before I dive into what I'm about to share, here's a peek at that. Well, today I found out that Kamala Harris was coming to my town, so I decided to go. I wanted to see the differences. Notably, I had to show my ID to get in to see her. But anyway, I was making a video talking actually about how sad I was that the loudest cheering at the rather small event came in support of abortion. When I panned over to the crowd and to her speaking and I caught something I wasn't expecting, check it out. Not a lot of energy here, but everyone just uh, cheered and screamed for killing babies. So that was disappointing. Anyway, here she is. Did you hear that? Some guy in the crowd shouted, Jesus is Lord. And Kamala said, I think you're at the wrong rally. And then she said, try the smaller one down the street. Everyone laughed and laughed and cheered, but I was at that rally. There were almost 7,000 people at it. Today they said there were 2,500. Nobody waiting, open spaces. I wanted everyone who's a believer to hear that for themselves. Again, we're not gonna be gaslighted on this. We remember Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court. With with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. <laughs> oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. The missionaries who go to the world's most dangerous places, and I don't know how you do it, you're among the bravest people in the world, and you do a job that nobody could do but you. And the pastors, podcasters, producers, and patriots whose ministry lifts up the spirits of tens of millions of Americans, you do an incredible, an incredible thing for humanity, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's incredible people. The people who make God's work your work god's work your work that's what you do and i want to thank you all incredible job thank you very much here at home christians knew that victory depended not only on the force of american arms but also on the faith in american hearts and we've got to get more of that back in our country today we really do have to get more of it back I'm here today because I know that to achieve victory in this fight, just like in the battles of the past, we still need the hand of our Lord and the grace of Almighty God. We have to have that. What they cannot stand is that in the end, we do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. We do. We answer to God in heaven. So today I come before you as a friend and an ally and a fellow believer to ask for your help and your support and your prayers for this country. We need your prayers, most importantly. And I make you a simple promise. In my first term, I fought for Christians harder than any president has ever done before. You know that. You know that. And I will fight even harder for Christians with Four more years in the White House, we do it because you're the people we want to hear from, the pastors and the ministers and the rabbis. The people in this room are the people we want to hear from, and they have to have a political voice. We're going to bring it back, and I really believe it's the biggest thing missing from this country. It's the biggest thing missing. We have to bring back our religion. We have to bring back Christianity in this country. Your efforts have inspired millions and millions to live their values and put faith at the center of their lives so importantly and in turn these legions of listeners citizens soldiers ministers and everyday american believers not only help defeat fascism and communism they help to build america into the greatest nation in the history of the world